Turbocharger's innovative variable vane technology makes it the only turbo where boost response can be mechanically adjusted. Boost levels and response are set with the integrated boost controller. Springs and shims are installed inside the integrated boost controller to determine the amount of boost and then an initial vane position is set to control how quickly this boost responds. The integrated boost controller is a simple and effective way to quickly change the aerocharger settings while installed on the vehicle. Common aftermarket boost controllers, which are essentially bleed off valves, are also compatible with the aerocharger system. The primary boost controller will establish your initial boost settings and then a standard boost controller can be used to modify boost on the fly. Every aerocharger ships with a boost spring and shim installed, which provides a general boost setting. Heavier springs and extra shims can also be used to create resistance, which allows for higher boost. It is better to use the heaviest spring required instead of loading up shims onto a lightweight spring. The fullest range of spring play is desired for best performance, and too many shims can bind up the spring. Follow these steps to change out your boost spring and shims for a different boost setting. Unscrew the controller bonnet. Inside the bonnet is a nylon washer, which keeps the diaphragm from wrinkling. Inside, you will see the diaphragm, retained by an e-clip and controller top. Extra e-clips are recommended, as they are easy to lose. The diaphragm fits over a piston and spring on the central control rod. Carefully pry off the e-clip with a screwdriver. Remove the controller top and diaphragm, then remove the piston and spring. Note the piston shim, which remains on the control rod. Then remove spring shims from the control rod. To reassemble, make sure the dust shield is in place. Then fit the desired number of shims and new boost spring onto the control rod. Fit the diaphragm to the piston and then place onto the spring. Fit the controller top over the diaphragm and line it up and push it onto the control rod with both fingers. Then, put the e-clip in position and snap on with a screwdriver. Be sure to flex the diaphragm assembly a few times to ensure the spring travels freely with no catching. A little stickiness is normal depending on how much carbon buildup is present. Refit the nylon washer and controller bonnet. Fit securely to prevent air leaks, but avoid over tightening which can bind up the diaphragm. Follow these steps to adjust your initial vein position with a vein fitting. Move the jam nut up on the vein fitting. Then screw the vein fitting clockwise until you feel it make contact with the top of the control rod. This is the zero setting, where the veins are completely closed. A reference mark can now be made on the fitting and cover. Next, turn the vein fitting in to set the minimum vein formation. This is how small the turbine flow area is before boost. When operating, the vane's formation will open to match exhaust flow and maintain desired boost. Now tighten the jam nut to secure the vane fitting at your new setting. Take care not to over tighten and strip the threads. As boost increases and engine RPM rises, the exhaust CFM requires more flow area. Variable vein tech allows the vein formation to constantly optimize in order to perfectly match the requirements of the engine regarding CFM. Fully open veins. Turn vein fitting clockwise all the way in. This setting behaves like a conventional turbo with slow spooling. Fully closed veins. Turn the vein fitting counterclockwise all the way out. This increases boost response but might create an excessive back pressure load. The objective is to locate your aerocharger's sweet spot, to where the engine will come up on its own and rapidly bring boost along with it. In other situations, you will want to be able to dial back boost response. We encourage you to experiment with these settings to adjust your turbo for personal preference and riding style. Aerocharger's innovative, integrated boost controller provides the rider with the ability to easily and quickly optimize their variable vane turbo. For more information, visit us online www.aerocharger.com